Welcome to Inside Out. I'm your host, Haley Gross. Here I'll be discussing teens' experiences on social media, mental health awareness, body positivity, trend alerts, and so much more. Though the fashion industry and media have their faults, I pledge to show young women that they can love themselves even if they don't fit the ideal beauty standard. Self-expression and confidence are the keys to making yourself stand out and get in tune with your creative mind. Now to the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Inside Out. This, unfortunately, will be my last podcast in the studio before I go back to school, but I will be broadcasting live again from UCF, so you will get to see me then and catch up on all of my college shenanigans. And obviously, I did change my appearance again. My hair is bangs, and uh, my personal hairstylist actually is here with me today. I have my best friend literally since the third grade, Olivia Blaker, and she is an artist. She paints with acrylic, and she does colored pencil. So, and I do hair also. She, and she has no, notoriously done my hair for years. So I wanted to just do a little interview on Olivia and ask her a few questions about her art, about her art style, and just get to know her a little bit better. So if you want to say anything about yourself to start off with, if you want to introduce yourself really okay. quick. Okay. Hi, I'm Olivia Blaker. I'm Haley's best friend since the beginning of time. Um, I am an artist. I'm a major of fine arts at the University of North Florida. Um, one day I hope to own my own gallery and sell art. <laughs> All right. So I wrote up a few questions. I wanted to find out when you first found out that you had a talent for art. Okay. I mean, I've been drawing my entire life pretty much. When I was in preschool, my mom actually recently told me that we were doing this like project in preschool where you had to like cut out shapes and make a cat. And apparently mine was the only one that looked like a cat and nobody else's did. So that was the stem. That was the seed. That was when you knew. That was when did we knew. Did you ever win any like any like art contests in like elementary school? Um, I don't think I participate participated <laughs> in any. <laughs> so I guess not. Um, so what are your favorite art forms? Um, I like realism and surrealism, basically just like I don't know, like wackiness, but like it still looks real. That's my favorite. Who are your biggest art influences? Um, I don't have any like specific like artists, but there are a plethora of things that influence me. Like it could be music, it could be like my environment. I'll just take little pieces of all those things and combine them with how I feel and create pieces with it. What are some types of art you've gotten to explore at college? So I've pretty much done 2D art my whole life, just like painting and drawing, but I did take a 3D class where I built sculptures and that was not for me, but it was cool. <laughs> um, Kind of messy, kind of frustrating. Didn't you smash the sculpture? I did smash the sculpture. Why did you smash the sculpture? Um, because it kind of sucked. I had high hopes for it. I bu I bought a forty-five dollar block of wood to make it stand on, and then ended up looking bad. So, I thought it looked cool. I smashed it and kept the block of wood. Do you end up discarding a lot of your art? Yeah. Or is it just in that rare case? Um, I do destroy and discard a lot of my art. 
Do you just think it's not good, or is it just like it's not what you wanted? Um. So you just start over. Well, yeah, I don't destroy them all like that, but I do start over a lot. Even when it's finished, I'll just completely paint over it sometimes. But do you ever regret destroying no. the art? Not really, because I never really liked the way they ended up, usually. Yeah. Uh, what do some of your earliest works look like? Um, so what were you making at the beginning of time? I mean, I always drew people, really. They used to look a little disproportionate, a little little disfigured, a little odd, <laughs> but I mean. Who would yeah. you draw? Um, I would always draw me for some reason. I would always have a mirror and a sketch pad. In middle school I did that a lot. Uh, do you feel like going to college has improved your art style? Um, not really my art style, because I only took one drawing class so far. So, and it was pretty much just, they'd put up a still life and put you in a chair and you have to draw it, all stuff I've already done. But, I mean, I guess there's always, it, it definitely helped me, you know, but I didn't like improve like greatly. Do the professors like, are they like, interactive or is it just kind of you get assignments and you have to do they they are interactive it depends on the class my 3d class she was really hands-on she would really like borderline do some of the projects for us if we needed help but like the drawing professors they kind of just like sit back and observe like see what you're doing and then they'll come over and be like you need to fix this, you need to fix that, but I guess. Who inspires you to make art? Kind of asked um, this question already, but like, just in general. Um, who? I don't know. I don't really like get inspired by anyone in particular. That's not like that great, but. <laughs> Is it more of like an intrinsic motivation to just like? Yeah, it's. I'm creating this art for me. Yeah. Do you have an audience that you're specifically seeking out? Anyone who likes it with money, who can <laughs> buy it. <laughs> but um, what was I gonna say? I guess like the thing that inspires me most is like the end product. I kind of like see a visual in my head of like what I want it to look like, and then now. You know, the process sometimes doesn't work out. Yeah, I feel like that reigns true a lot mm -hmm. in, like, media also. Mm -hmm. Because you just start with so much, like, if you're editing a piece together, you start with so many, like, different parts. Mm -hmm. And then what truly matters, what you're working for, is the end result. True. What are the steps you take in preparation to making an art piece? Um, okay, so. Kinda, there's no specific order for me personally, but sometimes um, I have to have music on. If I don't, then there will be no art piece because the music just kinda like allows the painting to paint itself. Do you itself. listen to specific music for specific types of art you're doing? Um, actually, yeah. So I had this one project in my 3D class and we had to like build the sculpture and then paint over it. And one side of it I was listening to like, kind of like calm, like bedroom pop. And the other side was Bring Me the Horizon. So they look completely different. And my teacher kind of didn't really understand it, but all my peers were like, yeah, like I, I get it. How like the music, <laughs> it, it just like,
comes through in how you paint it because not everyone's gonna get it not everyone's gonna get it unfortunately it was the teacher but it's okay <laughs> which one is that it was i made it out of cardboard i don't think you saw it i don't know i I'm trashed it but i trashed it yes <laughs> please I understand discarding a lot of your work just because something just isn't working out or mm -hmm. it just will never look the way you want it to look yeah. no matter what you do. That happens more than you think. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to paint or draw? Definitely people. I like faces practicing like proportions of faces because like no people really have the same face yeah exactly it's my favorite thing to draw mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what piece do you think has your best story has like the best like lore behind it okay um, uh, I didn't send it to you but there's this piece that is actually unfinished mm -hmm. and it's a portrait of me and I have a space helmet on and I'm in space and I'm like looking at a planet but you can't see the planet so I'm just like like staring at it because it'd be so cool to like see a planet in real life like in your face so it's just like something that I want to do but like I'll never be able to you want to look at a planet. I want to be right in. I want to be in <laughs> space. Like, just look oh. at all this. Look at all the stuff in space. You know. I would love to look at all the stuff in space. We always look at the stars. The very big star people. That is the thing we always do. <laughs> and the moon. Uh, how long does it take you to complete your pieces usually? Um, it really fluctuates depending on if I have a deadline or not. Like, if I have like a friend's birthday and I wanna like paint them a picture, a day to a week. Mm -hmm. If I don't, the, the unfinished space portrait of me, January 26th will be a year that I've been working on it. You ever gonna finish it? Yes, <laughs> it's at college. My plan is to finish it at college. Speaking of college, what's your goals after college? Um, Looking very far into the future, but. Like, like right after college or like? Like, what do you want to work as? Um, so, as, Where do you see yourself? So as painters, you can like, rent out a space in this like in these like warehouses and you can have your own space with all you like and it's like your station and you're like surrounded by artists and you can paint in that environment and like you can stay there as long as you want like throughout the day and i want to rent out one of those spaces so bad and do that for a very long time because it's also like a good attraction for like aspiring artists or people who are like mm -hmm. looking to buy work like people will walk in look around like I feel like that could be a good way to kind of like I don't know gain you know people who like client clients I get yeah <laughs> yeah people that want to buy your art I want to do that and I want to hopefully own a gallery one day do you want to stay here um, do you have like a specific location that you want to live in? I don't think I'm gonna stay here. I don't like Florida that much. No, me either. But I don't know where I want to go yet. You have time to decide. Don't even worry about it. I'm not worried. <laughs> we'll be fine. All right. I wanted to put up some of Olivia's pieces to see if she would like to explain some of that. I would love to. Thank you so much. So, Alana can just put up whichever one and we'll start there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this was actually 
um, a piece that I did for my AP art class my senior year of high school and um, my concentration was like different like mental illnesses and kind of how they affect like people's bodies and how they affect like how they like <laughs> function like uh, I don't I can't explain it anyway does it have a name this one does not have a name unfortunately nameless but um the kind of like explanation that my artist statement for this one was how her um, surroundings are kind of hectic, but she is kind of like like a more calm, you know, like grayscale coloring and how like she kind of like knows how to like deal with herself, even though her surroundings are kind of hectic. That's pretty much that one. Oh my gosh, this is actually my favorite one ever. This was a birthday yeah, like this present. One a lot too. This is a birthday present for one of my good friends at college. There's not really a story behind it. He's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I did this one in seven hours actually. Oh my gosh, this one was, um, this was my final for my drawing class. We had to do a self portrait and um, we also had to do uh, like a landscape, but I don't really like landscapes. <laughs> but I'm pretty proud of this piece. Um, I did it in like 12 hours, like nonstop working. Is it pencil? It's colored pencil and charcoal. Awesome. This was another AP art piece. Um, actually, funny story. I was actually <laughs> um, obsessed with the movie Us, and I love Lupita so much. So I started drawing her, never finished it, and then I ripped up some newspaper yeah. and stuck it on and kind of just turned it into something really unexpected, but I ended up really liking it. Really no story to that one either. That's one of my favorite movies too. I always say like, when I'm talking to people like in the film realm, that I wanna make movies, like the movie Us, like the movie Get Out. Uh, those like, are my favorite. I love Jordan Peele, like yeah. more than anyone. <laughs> but yeah, that's that one. Um, this was another AP art piece. These are all pretty old because I don't have any like recent stuff that's finished. But this piece was um, supposed to kind of exhibit like attachment issues that people could have like dependency on one another if they're like going through something. People depend to like, people tend to like latch onto like their friends for help. And that's kind of what I was like kind of going through at this time because of quarantine. But that's really all that one. That's really the story behind that one. <laughs> when you draw people, do you like model their faces after like an actual person's face or do you like just make it up? Just like um, make up their face? Usually I find models like off like Pinterest or just like Google. I like Google like faces of women or <laughs> men face. Bye. But um, yeah. I, if I make them up in my head, they end up looking like an elf. <laughs> like, they never look like a real human. All right, I think that was it for your photos. I still have a few more questions, and I think we have a little bit more time. Um, during this little break that me and Olivia have from school, we were like, oh, we want to do a bunch of photo shoots, we want to get creative, and I showed everyone last week um, the fairy photo shoot we ended up doing. I wanted to do it with my roommates back in Orlando, but I didn't end up getting to do it, so we thought, perfect time 
for when I come down. We're gonna do this photo shoot, and yeah. So I ended up really liking that photo shoot. You guys oh saw gosh. the picture last. That was so much fun. Last week. We had so much fun. I dressed her up in my clothes, and we just went in like the grass, and I got backdrop from Goodwill. And that was a lot of fun. Hopefully, when we're reunited, we can do some more fun, creative stuff. Yes, we have so many more ideas. We did have so many more ideas, but unfortunately, we have to depart again. Um, Boo. Spring break will be coming around soon, so we will reunite. But for now, it is back to both our college lives. I'm so unfortunate. <laughs> but I'm excited to go back. Are you excited? I am so excited to go back. I am going to be going up alone on Saturday. And my roommates, none of my roommates are coming until Sunday. Tatum is getting over COVID, unfortunately. And then Brie will be coming back Sunday with Tatum. And then my roommate that I live in the room with, Alyssa, she's gonna be home on Monday. And that's when class starts. So good luck, Alyssa, I guess. But I will see everyone Wednesday for Inside Out again, reporting to you live from college. I um, wanted to ask Olivia what you're most excited for for the semester of college at UNF. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Just like the life I built up there, I want to see it through. You what know? kind of classes are you taking? Um, I'm taking two studio classes, a nutrition class, um, another writing class, and then one more. I forgot but I'm taking five <laughs> classes. I honestly do not remember what classes I'm taking either, but I have to take a math. Oh, I have, to I take have yet to take a another math. Another history. Okay. I have to take anthropology. That was the one I forgot, thank you. <laughs> I'm taking anthropology. I'm excited for that one. Me too. But um, hopefully everything in college will be all right. I know it was chaotic the last time I was there and now there's a new variant out so I'm sure we're all going to be staying in a little bit more but I will see you guys on Wednesday for the next episode of Inside Out and I hope everyone has a great day um thank you olivia for coming in thank you so much for having and me on inside <laughs> out <laughs> all right i will see you guys next week goodbye thank you for watching inside out with Haley. tune in next wednesday for more talk about connecting with your inner and outer self along with a range of other topics regarding young women and social media see you next week <laughs>